Hey Brick Fanatics, DJ Bricks here, back for another unscripted and unsponsored review uh, on a LEGO uh, Star Wars set uh, this time. Uh, it's uh, one of the 2022 sets, and we it is our first uh, accessory pack uh, for the Star Wars line, which is uh, pretty special. Uh, Usually they on they didn't have these and they only had the battle packs, but uh, this kind of uh, replaces those as uh, the battle packs uh, became a little bit more expensive and a little bit more uh, more uh, complex. Uh, this just takes it back to uh, that $15 price point where you get a couple of uh, simplistic builds and then you got a nice little army builder. So. Uh, Let's get into the mundane details. It is set number 40588. It is the Clone Commander Station. It comes with 66 pieces. Uh, recommended for building ages 6 and up. And it costs about uh, 15 bucks uh, here in America. Where you can only get it from lego.com and uh, your local uh, Lego store. So... Uh, again, like I said, it's uh, bringing back uh, that uh, $15 uh, battle pack thing. So let's uh, start deconstructing and seeing how it stacks up, starting as always with the minifigures. Take a look at the first figure of, of uh, the set. Uh, it's a clone a trooper commander uh, with uh, yellow rankings uh, for... Uh, accessory he just comes with that medium sized uh, Star Wars blaster uh, you got some nice uh, printing on this thing uh, you got some boot printing some nice knee printing uh, you got some nice uh, torso printing there on the front um, this is the same thing with uh, plain clone troopers we're going to look at in a minute but uh, they really try to uh, emulate both uh, how the armor looks like in the movie and then how it looks like in the um, Clone Wars uh, animated show and combining be the best of both worlds uh, just so they can, um, you know, have, um, have used these uh, pretty... Uh, uh, it, when they want to use them for whichever uh, thing. And then you got this nice uh, head um, helmet here. Uh, it's that same uh, phase one that we've been getting for a while. Uh, mold is just printing up with uh, a nice uh, detail. And then you have the yellow stripes running around uh, the visor there. Uh, you do have yellow arms too. And then taking uh, the helmet off, we have uh, that nice uh, that nice uh, clone trooper head that they came out with um, back in 2020 uh, to represent uh, Tamara Morrison uh, better, uh, actually acknowledging the fact that he has a different skin color. So that is pretty nice, and that is a nice uh, print for the head uh, no alternate face but uh, and we get uh, two uh, plain uh, armor uh, clones in this set um, and these are pretty much identical uh, the same uh, leg printing as the uh, specialized uh, clone trooper there uh, the new torso print just lacks all of the uh, yellow details of that uh, the torso and like I said uh, this really does uh, capture both uh, live action and animated just so they can use them uh, pretty interchangeably. Uh, the accessory they come with, uh, they both come with uh, that medium sized blaster gun, uh, though they stock the um, uh, candle piece in black on the end. Uh, for a uh, slightly different shape to the barrel of the gun and uh, it's all pretty nice and then you have a new brand new uh, print for that uh, plain uh, clone uh, helmet there for the phase one clones and then again like I said it's the same head underneath and it is the same for both of them so uh, really nice to get uh, plain uh, phase one clones here. Looking at uh, the builds that you do get in this set, uh, you do get the small little gun rack build, and then you get the uh, command station that this set is named after. So we're going to take a look at um, this uh, gun rack uh, first here. Uh, it's pretty uh, simply built. Uh, I do like the combo of uh, pieces used. The dark red with uh, black and gray looks really nice. 
uh, they do use uh, the couple of those uh, action uh, stand pieces that were introduced back in 2020 um, in uh, light bluish gray here. They're not exclusive to the set in that color, but they uh, are pretty nice and they do uh, create a nice little shape here. And uh, you do get a printed console there here. Uh, here uh, that is uh, repeated uh, a couple times throughout the set and it's uh, reused from the Ninjago movie set so it is nice seeing that uh, printed part again and then you just have uh, the basic uh, bare minimum for a gun rack uh, they just use that uh, uh, three long jumper piece with the two in the center and uh, you do get two of the long uh, blaster pieces uh embedded in there and they do have that uh black uh candle piece uh at the end of the barrel so uh that is pretty nice for that build and then going into the command station here uh it is fairly n simple in its build again not expecting much here for the accessory pack but um, you do have some nice uh, use of these uh, small uh, curved pieces that are relatively new and they come in that dark gray color which is really nice uh, you have some nice snot techniques uh, on the side here uh, you have the offload ramps here uh, which come down all the way and they are kept in place uh, from going all the way down by uh, this part right here this uh, kind of actually acts like a little mini uh, buffer um, but it doesn't really stop it from uh, folding in all the way and like I said you do have some control panels uh, in here uh, you have uh, two of those uh, two more of those uh, Ninjago movie ones reused here uh, one at this side and one at the main controls and then you get two of the same print uh, those are Star Wars ones that were introduced uh, a few years back too but they are a nice scene again and then you have some nice uh, part usage for the antennas here pretty basic you just have another one of those uh, action pieces in gray and then you have a nice um, antenna here with a little uh, square sign there so again these are fairly basic builds uh, but uh, they do get the job done oh so looking at the extra pieces or piece in this case uh, we get one lonely one uh, you get an extra one of the of the uh, little action uh, piece thing in uh, that gray color which is super useful looking at the instruction booklet uh, it's uh, one uh, leaflet here uh, you can see the front uh, page just has like the cover, the back of the instructions with the wind, uh, how to assemble uh, some other pieces, and then uh, more of uh, the back just has more of uh, how to assemble. But yeah, fairly basic, uh, not much to it. So looking at the packaging for the set, um, it's that typical... Uh, uh, accessory pack style that we've been seeing for the past uh, couple of years here with uh, the Star Wars uh, branding all over it. Uh, you have that uh, nice little border that they started with this year of the, like, the black uh, parts, uh, Lego pieces in uh, various griebling detail. You have the set specs, you have a nice uh, image of the clone troopers on uh, Geonosis there with the gunships in the back, that's really nice. Uh, here you have that clear uh, minifigure thing, uh, that is where the parts are stored on the actual set and the instructions as well and then this just shows you uh, everything that you get in the set so you know what you're buying. And then on the back you just have a nice little thing showing uh, the clone troopers that you get in the set uh no actual size though and then the rest is just all the warning and legalese the barcode whatnot uh so going over my final thoughts for the set uh figure wise which is the most important thing here because that's usually what the draw is for these accessory packs is it's not really the build it's the figures and since this is supposed to be kind of an, an army builder not really I see the figures as uh, really good. Uh, there is some uh, debate uh, as to whether that uh, Clone Trooper Commander should have been in the set, uh, considering that is a figure from a um, 
from the three hundred dollar and fifty three hundred and fifty dollar um Republic UCS gunship set. Um and that was supposed to be exclusive to that set as like uh hey, thanks for buying this. Uh you get this exclusive figure, so uh it kind of devalues that set, but it does on the plus side give uh, fans uh who wanted that figure a cheaper way to get it, but Again, uh, that, that kind of seems like that's not really uh, worth doing because, I mean, you could have uh, you could have replaced it, the hat figure with a different one. Uh, there are several uh, clone troopers uh, with that uh, particular marking. There's like a blue one, a green one, a red one. You could have done a different style colored one and that would have been fine, but uh, I think most of the bulk of the anger for the figures came uh, from uh, that one being included in particular, so uh, I'm little on the fence about that. So, uh, and uh, build-wise, uh, you can't really ask for much for an accessory pack. Uh, what they do include is very playable with. Uh, you do get some uh, nice um, builds for your characters to interact with, uh, to army build with. That is pretty nice, too. Uh, quality, had no issue with. Um, price, uh, $15 is like the go-to uh, for the licensed uh, accessory pack, so that fits right in line and that also fits right in line with uh the old price for uh the battle pack so uh that kind of feels like it feels like uh both i got my money's worth and at the same time i didn't it, it i would have liked to have seen for that price a fourth figure or something or just a little bit more substantive to the build uh, just to get that money's worth but at the same time again that's what these accessory packs for uh, the licensed ones usually run so all in all I'm gonna have to give this set a four out of five uh, uh, from my ranking uh, comment below let me know what you think because it helps the channel I always look forward to um, hearing your guys' opinions uh, hit that like button because it helps the channel more and uh, subscribe and ring that bell because it helps the most um, and I will see you in the next video until next time keep building